637. Of course, it would be really cool to be in the path of totality, but it's kind of nice being on a partial eclipse where oh, we don't yeah. have to depend so much on the weather. Yeah, the stress not as high yeah. here <laughs> in central Georgia, because here's the thing. We're OK to have some clouds this afternoon. We know we're going to see breaks in the clouds, but if you're in the path of totality, you need the sky to be clear at that exact three to four minute time frame when the moon is coming directly overhead. But look at this. If you can't uh, get on board with a nice Monday, how about a nice sunrise? I think we've got a fantastic one on the way. Temperatures this morning are in the low 50s, 51 in Macon, 77 around three o'clock. That's going to be during the eclipse time and looking for a high temperature around 80 shortly after. It's 54 this morning in Warner Robins, 50 in Dublin, 51 in Vidalia, 50 over McRae, 46, the cool spot in Eastman this morning. But here are the exact times when the eclipse is going to begin 146 in Macon, 145 in Warner Robins, 147 in Dublin and in Wrightsville at its peak. These are our exact times now 304 in Macon, Warner Robins, Cochrane, 303 in Unadilla, 307 in Soperton, 306 in Sandersville and 306 in Sparta and then coming to an end right around 420 later this afternoon. So here's what it's going to look like. The moon coming in from the bottom right at its peak around 81% in Macon and then exits up to the top of the screen. Now, just a reminder through the course of the day today, you need your solar eclipse glasses to look at the sun at any time. At no time in central Georgia today is it going to be safe to look directly at the sun. So here's what to expect. Houston County 145 is when it begins at its peak at 304 coming to an end around 4 20 over in Montgomery County beginning at 147 at its peak at 306 coming to an end at 421. We've got a full county by county breakdown on 13 WMAZ.com right now. All right, here's a look at future view again. We're going to be looking at mostly clear skies temperatures in the 70s for the noon hour. And then once we get later into the afternoon, here we go closer to 80 some clouds and showers through the overnight hours. There's temperatures in the 60s, likely some rain tomorrow morning up near Augusta before we clear out for the noon hour. And then later on this after or tomorrow afternoon, that is getting back closer to 80 on into Wednesday here. All right, starting off with cloudy skies, temperatures in the 60s, winds out of the south, getting into the 80s Wednesday afternoon. And overnight Wednesday into Thursday, watching for the risk of maybe some strong storms. You see the GFS of the European models on top of one another, both putting thunderstorms over the area, and the Storm Prediction Center is in agreement with a uh, equivalent of a level two risk area technically in place across central Georgia for Thursday morning. Mapping out the details of this coming up in the next few days because we still have some details to iron out as we work our way closer to it. As for the weekend though, 77 on Saturday, 81 on Sunday. A few more clouds around on Sunday. I don't think you could ask for a better weekend forecast. So between now and then those storms overnight Wednesday into Thursday, only the the only bump in the road, if you will. And then we clear out after that. The Masters, of course, getting started on Thursday, likely starting with some storms in the area.